Okay, so welcome back to this week's training vlog. Today, we're not in a lovely clean gym. Today, we're in a very, very messy shed. Why is that? Well, we just have to get the session done. Uh, so this morning, I'm gonna be doing squats. I'm waiting for my phone to turn on to figure out what sets, reps, and load I have to do. I know it's not too heavy. I think it's around 100 kilos. And it's either 12s, 10s, or 8s because we're finishing week two of the program. So today I just have a standard barbell in the shed. I don't have squat stands. The squat stands are currently being used as a stand-in for a piece of equipment in a cold room. With all that being said, I'm gonna be power cleaning the barbell up. It's gonna work great. If this was 130 or 140 kilos, obviously I wouldn't be doing this. But yeah, the aim of this morning is just to get the squats done nice efficiently. Then go for a run and then go to work. So today is four sets of 10 at 100 kilos. This obviously isn't ideal, the power clean, the bear, all that. Doesn't really matter that much. The main thing I'm gonna focus on today for these squats is just the kind of main two technical aspects that I've noticed from the last few weeks. So the first thing is as I'm sitting down, I'm tending to let my head kind of tilt forward as I'm sitting down. That's an old habit um, that, that used to always happen on my squats. So today to focus on that, I'm gonna fill my chest up a small bit more. I'm also gonna keep my head and my chin back a small bit more, especially on the first few reps. It tends to be a bit worse earlier on in the sets. So right now, I'm just gonna make sure everything stays nice and upright. The second thing I want to do is I want to just be a small bit more active with my bracing. I've been flying this week uh, on aeroplanes. Um, so everything is a bit tight, so I'm actually gonna use a small Velcro belt just to make sure my midsection stays nice and tight. Just use that as a kind of cue uh, for myself. Now I know it would be great to have a cleaning montage of the gym, and I'd love to have the time to go and clean the gym, but it's not gonna to happen today or anytime soon to be honest. Uh, hopefully this, all this equipment will be moving to a new shed soon. <clears throat> then this shed can go back to being a workshop, uh, which it should be all the time. To be honest, during the deer coming season here, everything is just so busy. Every spare day is taken up deer shooting. Um, so this never really gets any attention. Then during the summer, the off season, it gets some attention and it gets back in order, which is why it would have looked very, very different in most of the other training vlogs you've seen in it. Everything feels very good. Obviously it doesn't look very good. I'm power cleaning the bear in a while, but 100 kilos now, first working set. I think this is four sets for the day, four sets of 10, which isn't bad. To be honest, I kind of mentally prepared myself for four sets of 12, but yeah, the the power clean, putting it up over your head is, is grand. It really, I think I've just messed around stupidly in a gym enough where manipulating a bear like that doesn't take it out of me too much. Um, definitely feeling that kind of bracing or that more active midline a bit more. So yeah, everything feels great. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, first time went pretty well. I think the camera actually died as I dropped the bar, but went good. The belt coming off during the the re-rack onto back wasn't ideal. Then, kind of very open wrist positions, which we really don't like. We don't really like kind of kick back open wrists like this. Prefer more of a grip on the bar, but besides that, everything was pretty much all good to go. So this is start of the third week of training, um, or the end of the second week, however you want to phrase it. Training is going quite well at the moment. Um, sitting at around 100 kilos body weight of a competition in Dublin next weekend. So the Emerald Cup. So I'm in the under 100 kilo body class or 100.5. That's 100.5 with the gi. So um, around 98.5 tends to be kind of body weight to aim for. So looking forward to that. Uh, it should be fun. Should be, I haven't competed in a few months. So it'll be good. <clears throat> Besides that, generally the plan is more squatting and more running. Um, so this morning we're going to run a, like a 3k or a 5k loop. Just depending on how the time is when we finish up here. But yeah, everything's going well. A few more sets of squats left. And then we're good to go. Squats are finished now, uh, we're done. So I'm gonna be pretty much going straight into a run now. Now this running session isn't important, or not that it's not important, it's not kind of high skill, it's not high speed, it's not high intensity, it doesn't really require much. But in any case, if you're doing a weight training session, going straight into a running session, what are some, some of the things you need to look out for? Well, the first thing is your cool down or warm down, whatever you want to call it, looks different. Um, no long static stretches. We're big fans of static stretching, but not in this context. What I'm mainly doing now is I'm mainly thinking about looking after, firstly, whatever's really been depleted by a squatting session. With this session, nothing's really been depleted. My legs might be a bit pumped. My quads in particular might be a bit pumped, but I haven't really used up anything. So in this case, small bit of water. I might grab a cup of coffee and go basically straight away. Once I do get down there, tighten up my shoes, put on a, a hat and get ready to go. But let's just say, but let's just say for example, you are going from a morning S&C session into a sports specific session, or maybe you're training with your team or whatever and you need to, to kind of figure out how to get yourself in the best possible uh, condition to be doing a training session very soon after. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get as much glycogen or basically as much fuel into your muscles, into your liver as you possibly can. Now, what's that look like? That looks like very simple sugars, ideally in an isotonic mixture, so you don't want it to be incredibly rich in sugar. What will happen then if we take a lot of salts, a lot of sugars into our stomach, it's basically gonna draw water or fluid out of our cells to process that in our digestive system and then bring it back out to our system. What we ideally want is we want a solution of water, sugar, and salt that's going to be highly isotonic. So our body doesn't have to give up water to process it. It can just be processed very simply in the stomach. And then once that's done, go out to the cells. Now, there's also a couple of other things that help with this. And one interesting fact is that if we take some caffeine while we're doing this, we'll get increased shuttling of that glycogen into the cells. So a small amount of caffeine. Now we don't, 
recommend when you just finish any training session that you're just gonna go and slab a load of caffeine and sugar. It's probably not needed. But in cases like this, if you're doing hybrid cell training or if you're going from your S&C session into your sports specific session, having an isotonic mixture that has some caffeine in it to help with carb shuttling will be very, very good. That's that run finished now. Overall training went very well last week. Obviously, as I said, I was away for a few days. So I ended up doing the two squat sessions kind of condensed. So I did one on Thursday morning after jujitsu class. That was very easy. Um, jujitsu kind of tends to tire out the legs a small bit. Um, not so much my back, but my legs get very tired, which is strange because your legs really don't do that much. Your quads don't do that much. So it's probably a sign of some inherent weakness there. But uh, yeah, that's a kind of regular Thursday morning now is get up, go to jujitsu. It's around an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and a half, depending on who's there and how many rolls people are going to do after the drilling. And then go straight down to the gym. This Thursday morning did some sauna and ice plunges afterwards, uh, which, although nice, may be absolutely wrecked for the day. Um, so I'd say I'm just going to stick to the ice bath this week. Then in terms of condensing the week, I did the second squat session on the Saturday. Um, and that was because I was flying out Saturday night. So I just went down early Saturday morning. Great crew of people in the gym. Really busy Saturday morning class, so it's good to see. Uh, now, the reason I'm not doing a training vlog of those two classes, there's people in the gym, there's music playing, so I can't play the music or the noise anyway. Um, but here are the squats. They felt very, very good. But yeah, that's a week of training done. Come on. In. Say go in. Good girl. Murphy, in. Good. 